Mike Callahan. Want to send a special thanks out to Amar and the ZenMade team for putting on the Made Service Success Summit once again in 2020 um, and allowing me to speak. And we're going to be talking about the new ways of marketing, specifically conversational marketing. So as we go in here throughout the talk, um, just be aware at the end of the talk here, since we have a condensed 20 minute talk, um, I'm going to have an extra added bonus where you can click a link um, and get the five easy steps to implement conversational marketing in your cleaning business right away this year. So without any delay, I'm going to dive in. And uh, if we have any time at the end for comments and questions, we'll do that. If not, um, make sure you stick to the end for the link to get the five simple steps of implementing everything we're going to be talking about in our talk today on the Made Success Summit. So as we dive into it, I want to bring up uh, three commonly known businesses um, that we all relate to in Amazon, Netflix, and Uber. And what do these companies have in common? So one of the things that all three of these companies have in common is that they have figured out how to deliver real-time buying experiences that today's consumers demand. And the way service companies, especially and specifically home cleaning companies and commercial cleaning companies, the way they've been doing their marketing and sales is broken and outdated. So 99% of the cleaning businesses that we've seen right now, um, the way they're operating their marketing and sales processes are built for the buying habits of the consumer that are actually disappearing. As we're on the tail end of the pandemic of COVID-19, the acceleration of today's consumers demanding real-time buying habits has accelerated. And we can see this is because there's a lot of uh, service businesses and any, any business really interacting with consumers that are basically automating their sales process. A great example is Instacart. A lot of people now are going on a app or a website, ordering their groceries and they're getting delivered to their house. There is no longer the need to physically go out to the grocery store and do their shopping. Now, obviously this technology and buying was here before COVID-19, but with COVID-19, it has accelerated the demand and the comfort of buying real time through automation. So what we're gonna do is show you how to provide these real time buying uh, habits and experiences in your service business, specifically your cleaning business over here then over the next 20 minutes. So before I really dive into the nuts and bolts of it, I really wanna use the example of, um, it is the holiday season. And a lot of times these big box stores, like electronic stores specifically sell these flat screen TVs, the 65 inch, the 72 inch uh, TVs for really cheap. So imagine that is the holiday season and you have gone out and you're ready to buy one of these TVs. So you go to the electronic store and you go into the back of the store and you just want to check out the TV. You've got cash in hand, you're ready to buy. You just want to make sure the TV is a good fit and it's, it's what it's cracked up to be. But after you check it out, uh, it's great, an amazing deal, and you got the money to buy it in your pocket. So next thing, obviously, is you're going over to the register and you go to buy this TV. But to your surprise, there's no one standing at the register. And what you actually find is a clipboard, believe it or not. And it says, if you'd like to buy one of these TVs, write down the make and model, your first name, last name, your address, your phone number, and your email. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible to allow you to buy that TV. So what most cleaning businesses, including my business, uh, had done in the past is basically put a static form on their website and basically had the same experience. But what we're finding, obviously, is if you or I were there now in this big box store, what we're probably going to do is pick up our phone, get on our Amazon Prime app, go to find the same TV and probably buy it and have it delivered to our home within two to three days. So the ability for today's consumers, if they can't get what they want from your business off your website in real time, is that they are realistically going to start shopping your local competitors that have uh, the ability to have real-time buying habits. And they're gonna continue to shop until they are met with the experience that they're used to and are demanding um, as they continue to buy things. So over the next 10 to 15 minutes here, we're gonna go over how to actually um, set this up in your business and the foundational pieces. And then like I said, at the end of the talk, there's a link where you can click and get five um, steps, step-by-step step, how to institute this in your business. So what is at the core of the buying process since day one? So 
This is where the sales process needs to start, in my opinion. And if you go all the way back to the days of bartering, at the core of bartering in the sales process has really been a conversation between the buyer and the seller. And this is where conversational marketing kind of gets its foundational start. We're going to focus on the power of having real-time conversations on your website and your social media platforms. So is your website leaking revenue? This is probably the first place that I would recommend looking at. And I'm willing to bet just about everybody on here has at least one or two leaks in their website. Traditionally, we have this talk in a room of four or 500 people. Obviously, with COVID, um, that is not possible. But as we kind of have some interaction with the folks in these conversations uh, in a large live setting, um, it is apparently obvious that usually 98 to 99% of the cleaning business is in the room do have one or two of these leaks in their website. So we're going to tackle those first. So first thing is, how does your website stack up? Do you have a contact us form? Now, hopefully this contact us form automatically enters those contacts in your CRM, con uh, customer relationship management software, such as ZenMade. Um, next thing is, does it have an estimate request form where somebody can plug in the information to get an estimate and signify, is it a, a deep clean? Is it a weekly or bi-weekly clean they're looking for? What are they looking for? And hopefully that automatically sends an email out confirming to your potential new customer that we've received the information, we're gonna get a hold of them uh, shortly to get them estimate, and maybe some information that differentiates your cleaning company. Um, in addition, we really would hope that estimate request would trigger a um, a to-do or a task in your CRM and saying, hey, Mrs. Smith has requested a, a one-time deep clean with a weekly cleaning thereafter and maybe a deadline for accountability that that estimate needs to happen. The next thing is a lead magnet. So these maybe uh, are is a white paper um, or a video series, but it's something of value that you give to the consumer or potential consumer when they're looking at your website and they're not ready to click that button to request the estimate. So if we're driving leads to our website and paying good money to do so through paid, organic, or SEO, we want to be able to capture their information and then through a process called long-term nurture, we're going to give them information specifically around what they were interested to provide value and then eventually hopefully through reciprocity when they're ready to request an estimate they reach out to your cleaning company the next thing is an automated estimate tool so this is kind of the heart of what we're going to be getting into today so the ability for someone to enter in uh, in a natural conversation their name their email their uh, address and have it tie into a product such as Zillow to bring in the livable square footage of let's say a residential home and calculate an automated price and be able to close the sale live over um, something like Facebook Messenger. So in addition to that, does this automated tool have the ability for two-way live interaction? So maybe if they hit a certain threshold and we've qualified this consumer, it alerts a live person in your office if you're open to actually jump in and have a live conversation and close the hottest leads while they're on your website. And then finally, a chatbot to communicate with prospects in real time. So not only are we hopefully having an automated estimate tool on your website, but we have the ability to have real-time conversations through a chat bot to communicate with your prospects, maybe commonly asked FAQs or what's your service area, uh, what payments do you, do you um, have, is there certain insurance that you have that makes you different from your competitors, whatever those questions are, we want to have a chat bot on your website to communicate with those prospects in real time. So traditionally in uh, a cleaning company, we see a five-step process off the website. We're going to dive into what we traditionally see on the website and how we can actually improve this and how some of these older ways of forms on your website aren't outdated, but how do we go in and accelerate and make them more effective to close more sales for you, especially in the hours when your office isn't open. So right here is an example of a commonly used estimate request. So the first name, last name, address, what are we looking for? Uh, the lead magnet we talked about, maybe the six reasons why to hire a professional video series. We're giving something of value in exchange for first name, last name, and email. So as we go in traditionally on a website, if it's set up correctly, is it's a five-step process. So we've got our visitor coming in here and they fill out a form. Now their information now hopefully is autom automatically entered into the CRM. There's an email that goes out and says, hey, thanks for uh, requesting estimate. We're gonna be out to you soon. 
And behind the scenes, there's a to-do or a task for someone in your office to be held accountable to get that estimate out within the first 12 to 24 hours. Now, the next thing is there's usually some work in the CRM, the custom relationship management software, such as ZenMade, to have the salesperson go in and enter some more information and create the estimate itself. Along that process, we're probably going to have to qualify this new lead. Are they in our service area? And they do they indeed want a service that we offer? And then finally, we're going to have to call and actually provide a quote and close the person, hopefully over the phone or play some phone tag if we're leaving a voicemail. And then hopefully, if and only if, of all those five steps happen, over probably a 12 to 24 hour period, that person becomes a customer. So there is a better way of doing this. And what we're going to do is dive in and kind of lift the hood. How did this can happen inside your cleaning company? So before we do that, the main problem is 58% of companies never follow up that visitors that actually fill out a form on their website to request these estimates. So obviously there is a huge problem. It's not enough just to put that form on your website. Someone obviously has to follow through, but unfortunately, 58% of all cleaning companies right now are not following up on that form submission off their website. So the solution is to add real-time messaging to your website and your social media posts such as Instagram, Facebook, um, and a few others. So through the use of artificial intelligence, we're going to provide 24-7 service. And we're going to do this through chatbots. And they're going to reduce the tedious and repetitive tasks that we always put our team and ourselves through. So this is going to start to buy some time back. And later in the talk, there's some staggering statistics of the amount of time this can, this can actually draw back to your team and create a opportunity to supplement people in the sales process and address these commonly asked questions or concerns and get your salespeople to the hottest and most qualified leads when they're ready to buy. So chatbots are here to assist forms and people in the sales process. So Debbie Sardone, uh, highly respected in the cleaning industry, has allowed us to share some of the stuff that we've uh, assisted with her company Buckets and Bows and a lot of her CBF cleaning business fundamental uh, students with as well. Um, so here's a great example here on the left is a, a chat bot in the bottom of the website that pops up and it welcomes you to the cleaning service and asks, would you like an instant quote? So it's starting an, op an automated conversation around the quote process. In addition, we have the traditional form. Get your free quote today. We're going to ask name, first name, last name, address. Uh, how'd you hear about us? How many stories is your home? People and pets living in the home. All the qualifiers you need to get that estimate. And obviously, you can customize these to your estimating process and your um, pricing structure. And then the last one here is right off the Simple Growth website. Uh, this is a Facebook Messenger bot as well that pops up and says, hey, how can we help you? And we continue to have the conversation in Facebook Messenger. So there's three basic ways of doing it, having the standalone estimator on your website. We can have the form. Um, that's assisted by the bot now to help drive people through and qualify them. And we can have another bot potentially um, style that utilizes Facebook Messenger. All three are very applicable and a, com a combination of probably Messenger and website bot are what we've seen as the best results. And the form itself, um, be it old school itself, if done correctly, is a great move because not all consumers are demanding this real-time buying habit in decision right now so we can still leave that option and let the bot assist it if they have questions to get them through that process a little bit quicker. So the new ways of converting off your website, we're going to take those five traditional steps that I'm going to, you can see on the left here and how do we convert those into a two-step buying habit and remove the roadblocks to enable leads to buy and talk to your brand when they want to and not when it's convenient for your service business. So just like the idea of going in and buying that big screen TV and having to fill out a form and wait for that store to call you back to buy it, we're going to alleviate those five traditional steps on your website and streamline them to two very simple steps to close more sales with the hottest leads 24 seven on your website. So the new process is a visitor goes in, the bot qualifies them, grabs some information through a streamlined and very natural feeling conversation as if you and I were just talking, getting their name, their address, and the bot's gonna be smart enough based on the logic in there if maybe they're not inside your service area or if it's not a real address or there was a typo to actually go in and 
have a conversation like, hey, Mrs. Smith, it looks like the address you put in maybe is not in our service area or incorrect. Would you mind entering it back in? So what we've done is this visitor goes in, the bot qualifies leads in conversations with your sales reps now are expedited. And if you're in your office, we can um, potentially notify your salespeople to jump right in and actually close that as a live conversation. So it's not automated, but actually a live personal conversation. So whoever gets closest to the customer is gonna win in this new shift of buying in real time. So consumers' communication preferences are changing and they aren't going back to the way they were. So the question today is, will you adapt and let your potential clients find uh, you or your competitors that may adapt first. The idea is we need to be on the bleeding edge of conversational marketing because if we don't have those real-time buying um, processes on our website, the consumer is going to continue to search till they find the competitor that does. Messaging is going to eliminate that time gap between lead capture and qualification. So once again, we're not going through five steps. We're going to literally go through two steps of qualifying and estimating and closing it live right on the bot with a automated or potentially live person based on the time. Lead forms are not acknowledging people's presence on your site and some are not willing to give their information to the form. With bots, we are collecting this data through a real-time and natural conversation. Uh, in addition, we can go in and build, depending on the platform you're using, the ability to notify a live person. So if someone jumps on your website and let's say hits three different pages, that could signify a hot lead. So depending on the platform you're building your bot technology on, there is the ability to put some thresholds if they're coming from a specific website such as that. Your competitors, that may be a hot lead. You want maybe someone notified. So basically the idea is we need to take that gap of time and have these real conversations as if it was live and in person, but now it's on your website. So in our mark. In your conversational marketing, there's three main steps that we want to look at, and they are capture, qualify, and connect. Well, connect, I like to call connect, connect A and connect B. But we're going to go in and show how your sales team can spend more time talking with leads, person to person, and less time doing those tedious and repetitive tasks. So the first part is step one, capture. And that's where we've got that visitor on your website. So right here, welcome to our website. Uh, would you like to chat with one of our team members now? So we have the bot, we've got the uh, form here, or on the far right hand side, we have an automated bot um, that we've built out in the cleaning industry that literally goes in uh, on Facebook Messenger and says, hey, we specialize in cleaning homes, click below for a free estimate. As you click the quote, uh, it asks literally, what is your street address? You type that in, pops back in, what's your zip code? What it's doing in the background is qualifying this lead to make sure they're in your service area and we have appropriate information. And behind the scenes, it's automatically within seconds going out to Zillow and grabbing the livable square footage that you would be cleaning in your cleaning company. So we're having a natural conversation, qualifying them and getting the information that we need to provide a live automated quote. Step two is qualify. So I mentioned the area of service. So what we've done here in one of the bots we built out is these are all the postal codes that this cleaning company actually cleans. So in the bot, it literally says uh, behind the scenes, if the threshold meets any of these postal codes, go ahead and continue the conversation for the estimate. If it doesn't match that here, uh, it basically says, unfortunately, we haven't expanded to your service area, but when we do, we would like to reach out to you. Can we get some information to get you on our list? So when you're going to clean um, and expand that cleaning business into the next area outside of your service area, traditionally we have to go out and spend a lot of money on marketing to start building that database. What this bot is basically doing is qualifying you if they're in your service area, but if they're just outside, we're creating a database of people we can market to when we start to expand our cleaning service. 3A is connect, so this is the opportunity. So we're gonna go in now that we've qualified them, how often would you like your home clean? Weekly, every other week, every three weeks, every four weeks. So real-time estimate requests. We're gonna capture those opportunities when the lead is hot and ready to buy. And then 3B is going to be hopefully converting them into a client. So what happens automatically in the bot now here is it says your first visit usually takes a little bit longer because we do some extra work. Your first top to bottom cleaning will be this price and your once a week cleaning thereafter will be this at 
this address and it basically goes in and tells you this address has three bedrooms and three bathrooms. That information was never given, but it was pulled directly out of Zillow. So now we've gone in and actually created um, some trust because the consumer goes, wow, well, they must know what they're talking about because they actually know the details of my home that I didn't even give them. So obviously this is some fictitious pricing, but you get the idea. So we're going to go into that three-step process automated, which happens in probably less than a minute and a half and has a automated flow that feels personal as if you and I were talking over the phone or in person. So a price matrix helps speed up the estimating process. So what you want to do in the back end of your bot is put your pricing. So your base price, say from one square foot to 1200 square feet is this price for each service. And by tying into a product like Zillow, we can use Zillow to collect the square footage quickly. We can simplify the estimating process by turning anyone into an estimator in your business, including your website and your social media, and we can stop leaving money being left on the table by removing the human element uh, in pricing. So we take the emotion out of it and we go in and standardize our pricing. So the three different ways we've found that we can automate pricing in an automated bot on your website or social media is exact pricing, high low price range or hourly pricing so you're not stuck to just doing exact price some people are uncomfortable automating that pricing so we've gone in and determined that through a bot that you can actually do a high low price range or hourly pricing in addition to your exact pricing so we want to capture the new leads contact information right in the bot we want to go in and grab their mobile number for phone calls and text messaging and email so we can have one to many automated conversation email marketing is not dead if it's done correctly with a personalized message we're finding open rates from anywhere from 52 to 73 percent so main thing is in your bot you want to make sure you capture a mobile phone number and an email so we can continue that conversation Facebook has definitely changed the rules of the game a few months ago. There is a 24 hour window period where we can only do a broadcast message. So we want to make sure we can be able to take that conversation uh, on to text messaging and email. So as we sync and automate your leads, automatically we have your bot on your website, your bot on social media, and your website form with hopefully your bot assisting that. What happens is when they enter that information in, we would create a sync is what you'd wanna do, and that API is gonna be through Zapier or a, a custom sync, and it would drive into a CRM such as ZenMade where we would go in and estimate it and create your service, and then hopefully dial into a sales and marketing automation process to go in and upsell, say, a one-time cleaning to a reoccurring cleaning. So the new rules engagement, as we close it up here, on Facebook Messenger, as of March 4th, I mentioned, there's only a 24-hour window where you can broadcast. So one one-to-many communications are great in the first 24 hours, but in addition for success in uh, conversational marketing, we want to capture an email, a mobile phone so we can have personal calls and create text messages, and a thing called a ringless voicemail bomb where it hits the cell phone on file, looks like a missed call, and it leaves a pre-recorded message. And it could be like, hey, it's Mike from Callahan's Cleaning. So sorry I missed you. I'm just following up to see if you have any questions regarding our cleaning estimate. We dropped off three days, days ago. If you do, if you feel back to call us at this number or accept the online estimate. And the key statistically is 80% of all sales are closed on five or more touches. And the secret sauce to this that we found in the cleaning industry specifically is alternating those touches over email, personal phone calls, text messages, and ringless voicemail bomb. So if you're not following up five or more times, you are leaving statistically 80% of all the sales in your market on the table for your competitors. So bots are perfect for the FAQs that frequently ask questions, lead asks the bot and the bot answers. We cater experience to the needs of each lead. Bots provide self-service access to the information that people are looking for 24 seven. And we're gonna automate those tedious repetitive tasks that people hate doing and us as business owners definitely hate managing. And we allow your salespeople to work with the hottest and most qualified leads. So seeking your bots to your CRM software saves time and money. So Here's some simple stats that I'm gonna leave you with before we give you the link to learn the five easy steps to implement this in your service business today. So by eliminating most of the data entry, most can be done um, can be done in your CRM by your sales team. They can concentrate on what they do best. So 
by eliminating that data entry into your in your software, your sales team now can concentrate on building relationships and closing deals. Uh, through some stats that we pulled, a full-time salesperson, 52 weeks a year, works approximately 2,000 hours. With bots and AI, artificial intelligence, it will save approximately 832 hours in a year's time. This adds an extra 20 hours or 20 weeks a year of more relationship building and sales. So how many sales could you gain in addition to what you're doing now if you implemented and adopted a chat bot on your website to do all the things we've talked about today um, in 2020. So I don't know about you, but if I could add an extra 20 weeks of additional time for my salesperson, um, I would be able to close significantly more sales and that salesperson's gonna be really happy because they're not doing all the manual data entry in our software. Um, and they're just working with the hottest and most qualified leads to close those sales. So the five steps to implement bots in your business this year. The question is, will you be the early adopter in your market this year? And I challenge you to not be like the taxi drivers that thought a cell phone could not disrupt their industry that had been operating the same way uh, literally since June 16th of 1987. If you had talked to a taxi driver in New York City or LA and said a mobile phone was going to disrupt the way they did business, they would have told you you're nuts. So the idea here is we don't want to be the taxi drivers of the cleaning industry. We want to go in now and adopt to this new technology and deliver real-time buying experiences that today's consumers are demanding. So if you want to see the next five steps, how to implement this in your business step-by-step, -step, uh, go to zenmadebot.com and we will be going through a short video step-by-step -step how to implement conversational marketing the new way to market in your cleaning business to go in and provide real-time buying uh, experiences just like your Ubers, Netflix, and a lot of the other companies that are now shifting to this um, with the acceleration of the consumers buying, uh, consumers demanding this new buying experience, especially with COVID-19. So we'll see you again. Um, at zenmadebot.com for the five easy ways to implement this in your cleaning business this year.